In honor of Barbie's 50th birthday, we check out Barbie collector Adeline's Little Doll Museum. She shows us her impressive selection of original and reproduced vintage Barbies and shares with us some secrets on how to preserve these dolls. For the vintage dolls, you have to know like um, the most expensive that I've paid in my vintage collection would be of course my number three doll. You mentioned that this is, is worth the most among all your Barbies, right? So how much is this Barbie worth? Well, mine is, um, I wouldn't say she's in very, very mint condition. But if you fall a really mint condition doll like that, you will pay probably about three, four thousand US dollars if you're lucky. Okay. Now I noticed that you have the brunette and you have the blonde. Yeah. So are they both worth the same? No. You have to know that brunettes are always uh, worth more than blondes. Really? <laughs> In the Barbie industry? Yeah. I like that. Tell us a bit more about these vintage designs over here. Over here, they are from the 1960s. Cause, but of course, the first doll that came out is in 1959. So, but the one, earliest one I have is from the 1960s. And um, um, over here, we have a range of uh, reproduction Barbies. But from the 1960s, from the 1960s okay. era, these outfits here, most of them are original vintage. So what I did was I buy the reproduction dolls, take off the clothes and I buy the original vintage clothes and dress them up. Can you show us the difference? Because I can't tell the difference between the original Barbie, the vintage ones and the reproduced ones. Okay. Can you see the difference in the look and the skin tone? The, the material, material is different. Is, right. This is made of more soft, so a softer kind of plastic. Yes. Vinyl, whereas this is a harder, and the reproduction dolls do not have a crayon smell. This would be the mod series over here. is more like the mod series, which is from the 1970s. But what I like is because the detail of the cloth clothing, especially the original vintage clothing, even the buttons look like the or you know the real thing that we are wearing, and the zips they have zips, and the zips are also like what the real zips are. Okay, amazing. Now bring us to the very first doll that you bought. The first doll that I bought. Yeah, the very first doll that you bought. Which would that be? In 1994. Okay. 1994. 1994. Yes. It would be, be these dolls here, the um, My Fair Lady series and the Gone with the Wind. How do you look after your dolls then? The blinds are always down in this room. Also, I have, like you can see, a dehumidifier. Oh! <laughs> Your dolls are so spoiled. They have a room to themselves, they have aircon, they have a dehumidifier. <laughs> okay, now I just want to show you guys. Um, Ellen was telling me how the original color for this was actually green, green. Right? right? And because of sunlight, it turned to brown. And similarly, this one over here? No, no this one. It, it is actually blue. Oh. A baby blue color. And it turned to purple. So now you know how to look after your baby dolls. Close the blinds. Her face. Yeah. A lot of people love her face. And actually for the 50th anniversary, they did a reproduction of the superstar face. Okay. Yeah. How is this called the super, superstar this, face? Yeah, that's called a superstar face. These Obviously. are the twist and turn face. So it's different. Can you see a different one? Wow. This is like more slim. This is the face. It's like better. Tell us a bit about the mold. You mentioned about they broke the mold. Can you tell yeah, us a bit they about broke the mold when they did some of the dolls, like probably from the 1960s or 70s dolls. That is why, if you look carefully on an original uh, reproduction and a vintage reproduction doll, you can see a difference. It will never be the same. It will never be the same. They can do it as close as possible, but it will never be the same. For these two dolls here, um, you can see for the original vintage dolls, they do come with earrings that have uh, metal um, studs. studs or wires where you can just poke into the ears. But you have to be very careful. Even for the up-to-date dolls, um, when the makers 
had them long time ago they don't know about this problem and over the years if if you're not careful we have this um, uh, fungus infection that affects the ears which is called a green ear disease we call it a green ear disease because when the metal uh, comes in contact with the vinyl it turns the ears green so you have to be very careful with uh, your dolls especially if they have metal earrings it is best to take them out like for this doll here when I found out it was a bit too late and so, so yeah so she's got she's, she's got a sick she's, Barbie <laughs> <laughs> we use um, this acne cream called Oxy uh -huh. you, guys, you can, you can uh, just uh, put it in a toothpick and then you just clean it up and if you're lucky you can treat the green ear disease and you're not joking right? no now here's the razorism story of the day Barbie meets Ken and falls in love with Ken Adeline tell us the story well I met my husband through Barbie as well in a way but he's not a collector but um, one of our mutual friends uh, introduced us and um, he's, um, he customized uh, outfits for Barbies so he introduced us and uh, at that time I think I found my husband to, be, to look a bit like Ken the vintage Ken <laughs> with glasses of course so yeah and we hit off and we, this was what we had on our wedding cake now who would have known that a pimple cream could cure Barbie's green ear disease? If you like this video, do check out our other videos on Barbie here at Rage.